hello friends it's so good to be back here again thank you so much for always being here and always tuning in to my channel i really appreciate it thank you for the love so far thank you for supporting me thank you for staying by me i really do appreciate thank you so much and don't forget i am also here for you giving you the latest the hottest most reliable and authentic news so guys you have to stick to saffron media thank you so much and right here there's a very interesting news that says ghost customers invade abuja banks wonders they say shall never end all these things alone in niger well guys before i bring you details of that please hit the subscribe button if you haven't and also turn on the notification bell because that's the only way you can get notified anytime we drop a new video and also don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up thank you guys all right let us go details into the news as it says that banks all over the country are experiencing unusual surge in patronage it is expected and abuja banks are no exception the surge surfaced after the federal government partially relaxed the lockdown imposed to curb the spread of the novel coronavirus pandemic customers are now spending hours at the few banks branches opened to operation in the past few weeks weeks customers with pending issues on their accounts have had horrible experiences trying to assess the banks and rectify the issues at first only few bank branches were open for business with businesses with many customers kept outside their gates they were allowed into the banking hall in batches to abide by the social and physical distancing measures they were forced to spend hours at the bank premises waiting for attention from few available officials with large numbers of customers waiting on the queue most times customers were frustrated due to long queues most of the customers told us and said that they had they had to leave their homes as early as 5 a.m to avoid the crowds only to realize that they still fell under high numbers like from 100 and above even with very few people present in the bank premises they suspected that security officials in the banks were involved in the racketing of numbers to ghost customers for some token a bank customer joseph ola from kubwa abuja told our correspondent that bank has become marketplace despite the social distancing order he claimed that it was he claimed he claimed that it has it has now become difficult to gain entrance into banking halls without waiting for hours or using money for quick entry tallied number since the partial easing of the lockdown banks have become totally different from what it used to be customers now sit on the canopies outside to wait for their turn which may not even come in a day leaving them with the option to either buy a quick entrance card or to come to the bank before 4 a.m i had a problem with one of my accounts and was also asked to visit any of the branches to fix it the day i went to one of the branches in kubwa a customer said by NNPC Junction, the kind of crowd I saw, I was even more than a, it was even more than a market square. I was very scared because of the COVID-19 pandemic, which government asked us to keep distance from one another. It was never observed. Some were not even with face masks. They were all loaded on the canopies, while some were still hanging outside the gates, waiting for the security officials for entrance tally numbers. Looking at the scary crowd, I wanted to leave before a young man in his twenties approached and asked me if I wanted to if I wanted to enter the bank. I told him that I could not make withdrawal and that is the only account I have money for now. He offered to give me number twenty two for two thousand naira. I refused and left to another location in town with the hope that a crowd would not be much since there are so many branches. But on getting there, I discovered that it was something I had to settle someone financially to gain access to the bank hall. And that was for Mr. A and another customer in Wuse too. Abuja also said, Mary Aoudou confirmed it was not as if I arrived the bank late. When I got there, I met an intimidating crowd in the premises. As I was thinking of what to do, a young man approached me and said, Madam, everything is possible with just one thousand naira that was how i gave him the money and it did not take up to one hour before i was called into the banking hall and another bank customer john ebida a bank 
a bank customer said they said we should maintain social distance and wear face masks in public places but what i saw in most of the banks was deadly people were packed under canopies without space and the worst of it was that most of them were just carrying their face masks without wearing them the crowd was so much that some residents were using it as a source of livelihood they would go to the bank very early to get numbers which they could exchange for money later in the day i had to pay because i could not stand the stress and i really needed to get some money from my account another year, year Resident Abdullahi Musa spent two days struggling to update his account without success. He had to submit to the new trend of money for quick entry card. Before they could get to, to my number on my first day, it was closing hour. I had to go thinking that coming to the bank early would be the solution. The next day, I got to the bank at about 5.30 a.m. only to discover I was number 120 on the list i asked for their customers but no one answered me the people i met were not up to 40. some residents confessed that they are making fortunes from the large crowd at almost all the banks david ali revealed that he used to go to a particular bank as early as 4 30 a.m he would get to at least five he would get at least five entrance cards each day which he would sell to customers at different prices his confession the COVID-19 has crumbled everything for us. Nothing is working despite the easing of the lockdown. Everything is still tight. The very day it was called off, I went to the bank to update my account. Seeing the crowd, I knew it would be a very good business opportunity if I could get some entry numbers and sell to desperate customers. On the first day, I made 2000 but now I used to make more than 5000 on a daily basis and the population is even increasing by the day. Another customer, Evelyn Ame from Jabi, said it is a very sweet and promising business. All you need is to visit the bank very early and stylishly collect lots of numbers from the security officials. You must be smart to succeed in this business because some of the security officials won't give you more than one. I don't operate only in one branch. If I am in this bank today, tomorrow, tomorrow I will move to another. I make more than 7,000 Naira on a daily basis. A security official in one of the banks who pleaded anonymity confirmed that he heard from people that they are getting quick entry cards with financial token but have not seen any. It may be because the large number of people we are attending to. One that they say shall never end in Nigeria. That is the situation of things in Nigeria at the moment because uh, when people are jobless, they don't know what to do. The best they could do is to go into businesses that are illegal. And that is what is happening to uh, some residents of Nigeria in Abuja. So that is it, guys. Please endeavor to drop your comments and tell us what you think. This is really wrong if you ask me because uh, um, uh, uh, it's not a good opportunity to make money from such things. But, of course, uh, some people had to make their living through fraudulent means, which is really bad. And I think some of these things should be kept at bay and then looked into critically in Nigeria. But all the same, that is it. You can drop your comments, want to hear from you, want to read from you. Don't forget to drop your comments and tell us what you think about this present situation in Nigeria. Thank you so much for staying tuned. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button and also help us share this video and give this video a thumbs up. Thank you for staying tuned. Do have a pleasant time. Bye.